Good morning and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales Boat Tour. Um, we're here today at the Southampton Boat Show as you can see and what I have in behind me here, I said in front then, no they're definitely behind me, it must be early morning, um, are two absolutely beautiful Cobra Nautiques. So we've got a 7.7 .7 and an 8.7. Now the 7.7 .7 I'm particularly excited about because this is the Parker Adams demo rib. So this rib is actually the fifth Cobra rib that I've owned and I am very very excited to say that I saw it yesterday for the first time and I'm absolutely blown away by as always the attention to detail by the guys at, down at Cobra um, the way the boat looks the color schemes it's always brilliant when you design a boat and you put the colors together but then you actually see the boat in the flesh on the water and how it looks and I've been really really blown away to look over this boat um, so what I'm going to do is give you a walkthrough tour of the boat um, now for you many of you may be familiar with the walkthrough tours that I've done on the the Cobra 8 8.2 in the past. Now this boat is similar however it has a few differences um, and there's a few tweaks and changes as they um, always are always refining the Cobra Nautique range, taking customer feedback, making changes. It's something that I love working with the brand that when you talk to Cobra and if there might be a little something on the boat that isn't quite working for you, you talk to them, you give them the feedback and lo and behold next time the, um, the boat's delivered there's a change and it's really reflecting a constant continuous improvement process for Cobra. So this engine is is a Suzuki 300 so it's a 300 horsepower it's really nice and light um, it's the Suzuki A series um, and as you can see at the back I've gone for the um, the multi teak so it's a really nice more of an authentic look um, at the stern um, very traditional Cobra you've got the lovely molded steps up the back here you've got a bathing ladder um, stepping up here when you are swimming and you come out of the water the um, radar arch there is just very very easy for you to grab hold of and lift yourself out say a radar arch I guess it's more of an a-frame um, I've got underwater lights fitted to this particular boat um, and I've gone with the black carbon effect tubes um, then I've got grey carbon chevrons I've got a grey rubbing strake and if I look down at the the rubbing strake something Cobra have started to do in the, within the last year it's a bit of a, a I guess a 2021 uh, model year refresh it started to put this additional line in the rubbing strake which breaks the rubbing strake absolutely beautifully and you can of course have that colour the same as your tubes or you could pick up the colours from the seats and really make the Cobras just that little bit more distinctive and more unique for you but personally I've gone for this this grey rubbing straight with the black insert and then this um, colour of fabric is called Sunkist so it's a silver text material I've gone for the Bentley stitching um, and it's called Sunkist it's slightly lighter um, than this Cobra 8.7 which is in the background here that one is wine um, do I have a preference I'm not sure I when I, I had a little bit of buyer's remorse when I ordered the, the Sunkiss and I wondered whether I should have gone for wine. Um, having looked at the two, I would say put your comments down in the YouTube video. Who thinks Sunkist is better than wine? I'm not sure I have a preference now. Having seen the Sunkist in the flesh, I think it's really bright. It's a real statement. So back to the A-frame. On the A-frame here you've got the LED lights throughout, you've got an anchor light up there, um, anchor and running light, and then you've also got port and starboard LED lights. You've got Sea Star hydraulic steering at the back here. This lovely big stainless steel engine plate. Um, little things like the Sea Star um, stainless steel plate. The, the controls come through here. Um, on some of the older um, Cobra ribs, you had a white. Um, bilge pump um, excess hole there that's now changed to black which I think picks up the tube colouring really really nicely um, inside here you have places to um, store the ropes so when you're underway you don't have to have the ropes down here coiled up you can coil the ropes around here and it provides a really really nice place to store those and then up in here, so you may remember last time I did one of these walkthrough tours on the 8.2, there was a table set up here. Now, I'm going to step across in a minute onto this 8.7 and show you the table arrangement. But when you don't have the table and you have the bench seat on the back here, you do have this brilliant storage locker. So if I lift this up in here, and what you have in here is this lovely storage space. In here, I have a cockpit table. The table has got two mounting places. It can either be mounted here or it can be mounted around at the front. Now, I've got this set up as a, a sunbathing area at the moment, but you can see just underneath there, there is a pedestal stand. And in that pedestal, you can put that up to, to dine in that area here. So underneath here, 
you have lots and lots of storage space. Um, again, the Cobra attention to detail is superb. The batteries are mounted here on these little shock plates to make sure that the batteries have the longest life possible. So that's all standard on all Cobras. And then something that they've modified in this year is you've got these twists here. If you unscrew that, this whole panel lifts down to give you much easier access to the bilge. So that was something on my 8.2 that I wasn't aware of, to be fair, because I didn't ever go into the back of the bilge. But it was slightly tricky to get access to the bilge. So Cobra, again, just continuous refinement. They've changed that and they've added that area on there, which is fantastic. So let's close this up here. Um, Something else um, just to mention, it's a really, really neat little feature. I've always got annoyed that when you come out of the water here, you have to step on the, um, the upholstery. Now, I am a pretty anal boat owner, so what Cobra have done, taken feedback from customers, and if I lift this out here, you can see a teak step here. So if you are in a bay, you can come out of the water here, step directly onto this teak step, and then here onto the cockpit. I think it's just that level of attention to detail that for me is really, really setting Cobra um, as a, a massive benchmark uh, in the industry at the moment. I, I don't think of another manufacturer that sets the boats out with the same level of attention to detail and just sheer quality of the Cobra brand. Um, you can see here you've got the Cobra fins on the back of the seats. Now remember, um, as I said last time, these seats here are actually suspension seats. Now a lot of boats have the, the big Scott suspension seats, but here on the Cobra, these seats, the suspension is actually all built in to the back. So when you're sitting on here, going in, out in a sea, it's hard to show you now, but the seat is actually moving slightly up and down with the gas strut there. So that's really, really nice. Um, we're just waiting for the final fit on this boat. There is going to be a, um, a Nautique um, synthetic teak placed onto there in the same way that it is on the other boat. So I'll just look across there. You can see that there. You've got fusion speakers done throughout here. There isn't a fusion head unit on this. They control everything here um, through this particular um, thing. That's really interesting. So you know what, when I set this boat up for the video, I thought Cobra had forgotten to put a switch on here for the underwater lights. As I said, I've only taken delivery of this boat yesterday. I just spotted something. There's a little, a little button down here that says underwater lights. All the fusion is linked up together with the chart plotter. So you have full controls on the Garmin chart plotter for the fusion radio. And of course you can download the app for your phone as well. We've got an Icon radio on this boat, you've got the Suzuki flyby wire controls, beautifully smooth, and then this custom Cobra wheel here with the Cobra um, logo engraved there. Um, these seats, two positions, you've got the standard seat position, and if you lift that up, that now gives a lot more space here, and you can slide in into there. The lovely thing about this seating position is, when you're at sea, you can put your feet onto this footrest and really lock yourself in really, really nicely. You've got a grab hold here, which provides a really, really safe place to be for both pilot and passenger. Let's come back around here. Storage options, lots and lots of storage on Cobras. In this top one here, you have a locker here. You've got fusion multicolored um, um, stereo, um, speakers, uh, which is controlled here. You've got USB sockets here. You've got all the various buns. Um, a bit of feedback that I gave Cobra on the last one was that this second locker here um, didn't have a retaining strap. That's now standard on all Cobras. So all the boats here at the show have got this second retaining strap. And then this area here, lovely big storage locker and a fire extinguisher just in there. This storage locker here can also be set up as a fridge. So there is a fridge option on these boats and that creates that area there into a lovely cool box and you get a couple of teak um, wine bottle holders as well. So if we move further forward, you can see the steps. These were a change from the, the Cobra Nautique range when they did a revision in 2017. And it is a really nice idea here because what you can have is when you step onto the rib, you've always got quite a deep place to step down into. Well, on this particular rib, you can literally step onto here and then down into the boat. So it makes it much, much easier to get into. Um, you can see here, this is the sun pad area. Cobra have set this up with three different infills here, which makes it very, very easy to store these infill cushions. They can sit just into the lockers here. And then inside here, you have a compartment that lifts up. You can see engineering there just misses that, beautifully designed. I've got the storage cover in here, so you can't see quite what there is here. But in here you have, again, laid to teak, 
Um, a big, big space here. Three, four paddle boards would fit in here. You've got a hatch here that just drops down and access to all of your electro electronics. And that's all on a gas operated strut. So I can just push that back down again. I love the little things like the, the Cobra stitching there um, and the colorway. Um, I've chosen this uh, light gray here, which really picks up the, um, the color in the console. So all of the, the console colors and the GRP colors are picked up with this band here. So I'd love to know what people think of this choice of colors. Um, so this is my own choice. So don't be too harsh in the comments. Um, I think it's really striking. And I think it's really nice with a rib to make a statement um, when you're on the water of your style and what, what you like. It's the first rib that I've had with this black carbon tube. And I have to say, I, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite colorways. So that pretty much concludes the tour here of the 7.7. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is just step across the water and I'm going to just show you very briefly this 8.7. Now what I'm not going to do is go through the differences, sorry, go through all of the features of this boat because many of them are consistent with the 7.7. Um, the Cobra DNA runs really deep through both of these boats. So actually the, um, the console is the same, the storage locker, um, oh actually I'll talk about the storage locker in a moment, the storage locker isn't quite the same, the steps there get getting into the boat, the three um, cushions there on the, um, the sunbat area are the same, but there are different differences. And what I'll do is show you the differences. The first one is obvious. The first one is a U-shaped seating. Now on my 8.2, I had the U-shaped seating and I have to say, it's amazing. Being able to have the four or five friends sitting around the back of your boat when you're powering along um, is absolutely brilliant. And what else you have is this fold out table. So I'm gonna step onto the boat again, using these little steps here. So on the U-shaped seating, you get these additional steps um, and you've got this table. Now this is a teak table. Um, you've got etched into the top, the Cobra fins. So everywhere across the boat, this strong, strong attention to detail. This is an addition for this 2021 model. Um, you've got a great handholds here. Sometimes with friends, when I had friends here sitting down and you're blasting along, um, there weren't too many places to hold on, but now Cobra got the feedback, added on handholds. So it's really nice to see that, that if you've got friends sitting in these positions, you've got great handhold here. This particular boat has been specified again with the multi-teak. I think it looks fantastic. It's just so, it just gives the edge for me over the, um, the normal synthetic teak. Table wise, just to show how this works, the table literally just folds in half like this. You just put that clip around there. You then lift this area here. Again, you've got a cut there. Lift that up, fold the table in and close it up. The table's now gone and you've got this brilliant space for entertaining for friends to be around. This particular boat powered by the Suzuki 350. This is the 350 uh, with the duo prop engine. Having had this engine, it's pretty special. It's got a hell of a bite to it. When those two duo props wind up, it just goes. So I'm, I'm excited to see the differences actually between the 300 um, Suzuki and this one here. So carrying on with the walkthrough tour, what I want to do is just talk about differences really. And one difference is the head console. So the head console here, um, if I lift this up, whereas you saw in, in my 7.7 there, if I lift this up, you can see there is a head console in here. You've got a holding tank, you've got a, um, a basin, you, everything that you need to go to the loo at sea is here. So for family days out, it's not the sort of thing that's gonna be used all the time, but it's here and it's a good size. There's actually quite a good space in there. Um, I don't need to talk too much more about that, but it's currently got the head console. So if I turn that off, turned off close that down that pretty much concludes the the walkthrough tour on these two boats i've deliberately not gone through in too much detail um, about um, this one because i've just shown you the differences between the two um, but it's really nice to see the, the cobra dna running very very strongly throughout both i'm just going to walk through here so let me step back away from the boats i'm just going to come off the water and come around to look at both boats again so Cobra 7.7 Nautique, Cobra 8.7 Nautique. Main differences, head console on here, U-shaped seating on here. This one's slightly lighter upholstery and just the bench at the back. Um, 
loads and loads of features on both boats but the big thing about the cobra ribs that i can never get across um you know without just getting so so enthusiastic is the quality of the build uh, the quality of the build the customer service the way that josh steve and the team at cobra will look after you when you become a cobra customer is why i'm on my fifth cobra customer and really what drives me to be a dealer for these fantastic boats thanks so much for watching another parker adams walkthrough video please like subscribe to the channel and i look forward to speaking to you again very soon many thanks <laughs>